this is Tim here from Be Well, God Bless, and I am here with Dan Kramer of Life Transition Coaching Services, and looking forward to speaking with you today, Dan. Well, you know, um, thank you so much for the opportunity for this call. I'm really uh, excited, and uh, I hope that uh, it moves forward in a, a wow and exciting and great way. So, um, you know, all I have to say is bring it on. All right. That sounds good. Good to speak with you today. Um, well, Dan, tell me a little bit about yourself. Just quick little background real fast, and, and we'll go from there. Okay. Well, I'm, uh, you know, from a family of 12. Um, I'm number five of 12. I'm sandwiched in between three older brothers and three younger brothers. And uh, we, uh, I grew up in a, a small town. Um uh, referred to as Hopkinton, Iowa, um, and uh, it was a um, pretty chaos and pretty crazy kind of environment growing up and an extreme small home and um, uh, moved forward into my um, grade school, middle school, high school, Maquoka Valley um, High School out of Delhi, Iowa. And as we've uh, continued to move forward in time, I... Um, found an incredible, unbelievable, uh, loving, caring uh, woman that uh, wanted to commit to marriage. And um, we married uh, in um, 1992, and then we had our, as time moved forward, we had our first son, Austin uh, Daniel, at April 7th of um, 1994. And then uh, two years and three months later, we had... Brandon Thomas on July 2nd of 96, and as we um, moved forward in that time, we uh, created a new home out near Lake McBride, near Solon, Iowa, and we're part of the uh, Solon community. And, um, the boys have both graduated. They're both at University of Northern Iowa as far as going to college. My wife is a preschool teacher, and... Um, uh, we uh, attend the Soul Methodist Church and a uh, great, strong, solid community. And we're, um, you know, been blessed with uh, all the surroundings of uh, an incredible environment of Lake McBride and the trail and the lake itself and the park. We've been blessed with such an incredible, unbelievable, um, you know, neighborhood and community that support each other and really enriches one another's lives and um so we're in a good place uh we're part of the um you know opportunity to um, be connected to um uh, hopefully showing a model uh, with our sons by uh, strong solid uh, relationships with ourselves strong solid relationships with our marriage and we truly want a strong solid family with a strong solid home and so you know, in a uh, kind of an overall nutshell, I, um, you know, uh, I think that where I've gathered over the course of my time and my journey is um, I have to be connected in my mind by the choices that I make and the body that I carry and the spirit that I show up in. And so I try to be, uh, you know, talk to talk and walk to walk and uh, continue to, as what my wife says, Dan, you are a work in progress, and that is without question. I am work in progress. So that's and pretty much yeah, a little bit about me. There you go. Absolutely. Well, we're all works in progress, that's for sure, aren't we? You know, um, you mentioned there right at the end just how just the the I guess the perspective that you have as you look at life and and you begin to, I can see just the start of my, you know, my next question. It's just how did you become interested in this passion you have for being a life transition coach? And I know you're focusing a little more in the marriage and relationships aspects. Is that correct? Um, but, but how did you become interested in this passion you're pursuing? Well, I think that the idea that what I foresee in the world of life is it's evolving, changing. And, you know, if we have a comparable within like the cell phone and how the cell phone has advanced over the course of time 
and where we can take and put this uh, cell phone in the palm of the hand and uh, call around the world. That's pretty amazing with a technological world. But I got into the world of coaching as in life transition coaching because, you know, in my um, uh, position at the Jackson and Jackson County Health Department, I was and have been a environmental uh, specialist, environmental health specialist, and that's all about service-oriented type of work. Um, and so I had a, a really great foundation, the idea of being a government employee and being a service-oriented uh, individual. So that was like a round hole with a round peg, was a round hole with a round peg when it came to the idea of pursuing something that once I phased out of my environmental health position, moving into something that I really wanted to do, which was to serve. And so when I got looking into the different kinds of occupations or different professions that made more sense to me, I came in contact with the um, Small Business Development Center out of the University of Iowa. And, you know, as we continue to move forward of trying to narrow the niche down, it became more and more obvious that life coaching was a way to be able to take one's life, you know, in the full, complete package and try to figure out what is uh, what's working, what was not working in their life, and try to figure out the kinds of tools, assessments, or different kinds of ways to help these individuals transition into, you know, being more in control about their world and their life. And more important is the idea of how they show up to be fully and completely present. And so as I moved forward, it just seemed like to me that it was a really good fit because not only that, um, you know, as a service-oriented individual, but more important is the fact that, you know, in my art brand, as my branding type, I'm a humanitarian and a teacher. And so with coaching, it's all about um, really uh, getting connected from a humanitarian's perspective and a teaching perspective of helping people, you know, and trying to figure out the challenges, the problems, the concerns, the issues that they have personally and professionally. So it just seemed like to me that it was a, a really great fit. And then if I'm really serving the higher divine, it just seemed like, you know, I'm all about the idea of believing in the higher divine, which is God, and believing in a godly life. So it seemed like what bigger, better profession is there than helping an individual that are going through some deep valleys or transitional times in their life to get them back on the right kind of course to live a life of the wows and the excitement and the joy and the happiness and peace. It just seems like to me that why would you not uh, be connected to something as big as that? So, you know, uh, that's, you know, in a roundabout way. And then the last part of this is, I grew up with chaos. I grew up with craziness. I grew up with the ship sinking basically daily, weekly, monthly. And, you know, we had some challenges at our family. We had some challenges with our, you know, lack of money to be able to provide for the, the family or the uh, 12 children. Um, you know, I, I knew what chaos was. I knew what craziness was. I knew that, you know, the idea of getting control of your life was everything you had to do in life to show up and uh, make good decisions and choices. And so I had a, a really huge experience when I grew up, uh, the way I grew up. And, um, you know, now I see that, uh, you know, as I move forward, that experience gives me the credibility to be able to help those people that are really being challenged in relationships or marriages or any other transitions in their life. Excellent, excellent. That just sounds like it, it truly is a, a fit for who you are and you're just naturally, um, just an, it's truly just an extension of you and, and who you are and who you've become and and uh, wonderful, what a wonderful way to help people right where they're at and who they're becoming and facing all those same challenges. So h how do you... You know, explain to me just your process. What's the product you bring to people? What's the service that you do uh, as you deliver uh, for them and, and walk them through? And kind of, I see you kind of, I guess, as partnering with people, coming alongside them for a season and 
Um, that's kind of how I view it at any rate. Um, sounds very personal and one-on-one. -on -one. And so is that true? And uh, how, do you, how do you do that? What's the process that you go through as you meet with people? Well, there's a, a really a, a great comparable with this. And then I want to bring out the idea of, you know, a, a living a life with a blueprint. And, you know, my story truly is within my wife and being committed to my marriage and deciding whether or not uh, we wanted to live in the area of the home in Iowa City, Iowa, or whether or not we wanted to um, move before we started having children. And what we decided, we explored the Johnson County, the Cedar County, the Lynn County area. And what we had is the blessing that I invested in uh, uh, residential lots out near Lake McBride and with a partner. And what ended up happening is we ended up you know, choosing one of those lots that we were going to sell to create a new home for my wife, Shelly, and I and our, and our family. So... The reason I want to share this with you is this, is because of the fact that we didn't build that house without a blueprint. We had a blueprint. We had an architect design that home of what it is that we needed and wanted. And I can't imagine any one of the players that were part of that building of that house um, being guided without a blueprint. And when I think about our world and I think about our life, we took the energy, effort, time, and the, the money and the resources to create a blueprint for the home that we live in and have lived in since, um, you know, March 26th of 1996. Uh, um, is, is that correct? March 26th of 1994. Let's just make a correction on that. Um, and so we were guided by a blueprint. And when I got thinking about life itself, one thing that uh, it really makes more sense to me than anything is if I put that kind of effort into uh, creating a blueprint for our home that we live in, why not create a blueprint for my life and, and the individuals that I serve? And if we create a blueprint such as like a life plan to find balance and fulfillment in our life, to know and understand what it is that is working as opposed to what's not working. We have much more of a complete picture about, you know, what is working and sustaining what is working and then identifying what is not working in their life. And so that just, to me, just from a um, practical, logical perspective, makes more sense to help individuals create the opportunity to create a blueprint such as a life plan, see their life within the idea of knowing and understanding that time is all about what we have and what we spent and where and what time we have in our future. So uh, when we create more of a guideline like a blueprint and a plan to uh, get us on the right kind of course in life, then I think we're much more apt to be able to make bigger, better decisions, uh, knowing and understanding when we say yes as opposed to saying no, and knowing the understanding of what our needs are in the world of surviving as in our wants and to thriving. Um, surviving and thriving in life is, is a great place to be in life, and as we move through the days, the weeks, the months, the years, whatever time we have, that we know and understand that we have a purpose in our lives. So my overall, you know, the big aha, the big wow is uh, find out exactly and specifically what kind of changes you want to make in your world and your life. And then I uh, have an individual like me as a life transition coach help you identify those, clarify those, kind of create some uh, goals of identifying where you want to be and personally and professionally and uh, have a plan of action in order to make sure that you're living a life of joy, happiness, and peace, and that you really know and understand where you're going. And when you know where you're going, well, everyone else will know and understand where you're going. And if you follow a, a compass such as morals and ethics and values and being guided by the idea of knowing that your decisions do have consequences, 
and you show up in the world of being not only in mind, not only in body, but also in also spirit, mind, body, and spirit. So, you know, in an overall, uh, the big aha, the big wow is get to know and understand that you're in control of who you are. And that's why I'm really, truly pumped up about the new program I've got um, is, and, and it's referred to as be your best you within and live life well. And I, I you know, I don't know if there's a, if someone's got a bigger, better answer than that, then I want to really hear from them. But I, I just think that we got to start with thyself. Absolutely. It 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 seems to me that um, you know that that just sounds great. That sounds great. I see so many people, including myself. Some of the struggles are really with we have so many options today. There's so many things I can be, can do, can pursue, fighting for our time. That really we end up really cloudy, um, maybe in what am I supposed to be doing in life? What what um, what am I supposed to be doing day to day, week by week, month by month? And I really see that you are coming along with somebody and, and helping them come out of that fog and and really get some some clarity where they can really hone in on on something that uh, is worth pursuing, um, not only in just who they are, but who they're going to be and how they're going to walk out in this life in this world. So, excellent. This was just really exciting to hear um, how you've come from, you know, a, raised up in the chaos of 12 kids and, um, just how your life journey has brought you to where you are today. And I'm really excited to hear more about the impact that you have um, with your um, mission serving people. Um, well, Dan, I just have really one more question at this point, and that's just really, um, do you, is there some question that you really wish I would have asked that I, I didn't ask that just you want people to know about or is real important to you? Yes, there is, and 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 the world, and, and the word, not only the world, but also the the word itself is passion. Passion. Asking the question about what is passion, because passion is the driving energy that gets us in the way of doing the ahas and the wows, and when we're connected to the passion, we're connected to a round hole with a round peg. We know and understand where we're at, and more important, we know where we're going to go in, in, into the ahas and the ones and the excitement of our life. If we follow the passion into the idea of just thinking about the Iowa Hawkeyes football team, there's a, and a driving force for these athletes, these coaches, and those fans that show up in the seats in the Iowa Hawkeye um, game. When I think about our world and our life, we should also be excited about a passion that's excited about who we are and what we're all about. When we find purpose, we find that there's a higher calling and a higher purpose for who we are and what we're all about. We have an incredible, unbelievable energy when we're getting connected to passion. Passion is really the the ultimate spirit, the ultimate high, the, uh, the excitement of why we're here on this earth. And, you know, when we come from that perspective, then we get excited about it because we are here for not just floundering through the days, the weeks, the months, or the years, but now all of a sudden we're connected to our gifts, our abilities, our talents, our strengths. And that's when we, when we find the passion, there's such an, a positive energy. It's not pessimistic energy. It's optimistic energy. There's a hope. There's a wish, there's a, a joy, a happiness, and a peace within us because we all have passion. I do believe that we need to think about the idea that aren't we living a life to know and understand who we are and do we have a passion for our life personally and professionally? Because when passion comes into your life, you know, that's, that's by showing up and being fully and completely present. And so without asking that question, what I want to do is I really want to help individuals 
really find the excitement, really find the energy, find that wow in them, and find that passion that is so maybe buried over because of all the different kinds of experiences and events that occurred over the course of their time, and bring that out and, and, and uncover that and peel that back and say, wow, that's the heart. The heart now is connected to the passion, and the passion is connected to the purpose, and the purpose is connected to the human life. And for whatever day, whatever week, whatever the month, whatever time we have on this earth, that you live that life, and you come to your last heartbeat, and you don't have any regret. Because you said, you know what? I took this life and made it a journey out of it, and I just capitalized on it because I found the excitement of my life because I found passion and purpose. Hmm. Well said. Well said. Um, Dan, I'm just sitting here. My mind is full of tons of thoughts and just just really enjoy sharing this time with you. And um, yes, even just in the first few minutes that we've spoke here, um, You've really given me a lot to think about, and I can see how a person coming alongside with working with you for a couple months or um, six months or whatever that amount of time would be, I could see how they could really benefit from your perspective and your your passion for helping them uh, through the ruts and valleys of life. So thank you for taking the time to meet with us today and, and to visit, and we'll look forward to talking with you more soon. Sounds great, Tim. Thank you so much for your time, and thanks for the questions. And, uh, you know, certainly I'm here if you have any additional questions. And uh, I wish you and your family a a great day, and um, I'm looking forward to our contact in our next calling. So thank you. Sounds good. Thank you. 